Okay, Space Wolf players, I am Ryan. I, uh, so far, I'm a Space Wolf player. I'll basically, what this is, is the, um, and I just got this excellent new codex, the new Space Wolf codex. It is the Wolf, it's the Wolf Guard edition. So, by far, this is pretty heavy. It's, it's got the codex, it's got the paint guide, and it's got the not yet released codex supplement, and it also has these uh, cool looking wolf uh, objective tokens, so they made sure it was pretty wolfy. This is just going to be an unboxing though, I'm not going to be, I'm in another video I'm going to be doing the, uh, explaining the HQ, or actually just pretty much going through the entire codex. Um, then I'm gonna kind of wait a little while until they until because uh, I know with GW they're gonna if they even spot this video they're gonna try and sue that might try to sue the hell out of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to let this go through the codex and the paint guide. That's all what I'm gonna do. But this is just so far gonna be an unboxing. Okay, so pretty much I love what they've done with this. It's the uh, the gold plated. This is actually gold plated. It may look silver to you in the screen, but it's actually gold. I got to adjust my lighting. Uh, it's this is the this is the grand annual annulus. This is every company of the space wolves ought to date. Uh, well, not to date, but this is, this is the current Wolf Lord list. Uh, and I'm um, here. We go. I love the inside of the cover. You can see that it's the basically the the first the front cover of the Space Wolf original Codex. And. Here we have Codex Space Wolves. Let me just try and get it so you can see it. I'm trying not to be to damage the box here. This is uh, Codex Space Wolves. The color, I love the color. It's it's basically like dark gray, uh, but the emblem is the Space Wolves emblem, but in the colors of the Grey Hunters. The, the Grey Hunter colors are red and black. Here is the companies of Fenris with the colors of the long bangs, which is white and black. The companies of Fenris is this uber amazing paint guide that shows you how to paint your, how to paint the models and how to uh, maybe uh, customize your army to make it look like. Uh, a, a specific one, because basically you have three company, and basically you have three companies, no, three or four actually, of of the space of space wolf companies in this in this book that you can customize your army to, which is actually pretty good. They have uh, they have a uh, Sven Bloodhowl. Yeah, they have. Uh, Sven Bloodhowl, Harold Deathwolf, Eagle Iron Wolf, and Logan Grimnar. So you can base your, so you can pin your armies in these four different companies. But or if you could try something else. And now here's the interesting one. This uh, is the Champions of Fenris Guide. Supplement. It's the champions of Fen the champions of Fenris supplement. In the col the emblems and the colors of the Grey Hunters, which is black. Well, not the Grey Hunters. The Wolf Guard, which is black and and yellow. I ran when I was at when I picked this up at the shop, and I let the guys see it. They almost 
passed out. The store manager almost freaked like hell because of all the stuff that was in this that made it so uber powerful. Oh my gosh. Like like I'm I'm just actually just I'm actually really wanting to give you a, like a little taste. And this is the and I'm actually going to do that right now. Uh They have a lot of, of stuff in here. Uh, I'm not even going to get into the relics because they are ridiculous. Uh, okay, here we go. The Wolfguard Void Claws. They are Logan Grimnar's boarding, boarding army. Uh, well, boarding squad. These guys are ridiculously powerful. And I would want, definitely want to play them. Because they are boss. And right now, and okay, now these are the art prints. I, I like the color. A lot of these art prints I've seen, they're, they're, they're seen mostly throughout the codex. Mostly throughout the codex and all the. Uh, other books. You have 12, in the Wolfguard edition, that you have uh, 12 art prints. I'm going to show them to you because this is the unboxing. So, not a lot of rules. Come in this nice little w art folder wallet, which has the colors of the blood claws, which is yellow and red. Okay, so this is the codex. This is the cover of Codex Space Wolves. This is Harold Death Wolf. I'm gonna get a dear better look at because this I love this print. This is Harold Death Wolf on Ice Tooth. And this is Logan Grimnar on his on Storm Rider, carried by his two Thunder Wolves. I know people hate the. I know a lot of people do not like the 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 chariot because the the, the rules are okay. The the people don't look so, so like people just don't like the chariot. I like the chariot. I don't know why people don't like it. This is Harold Deathwolf again, among his Thunderwolf cavalry. Ragnar Blackmane. Now this is a is a now people would will re remember this one because this was back during uh, fifth edition when this was back during fifth edition. This is the fifth edition, uh, right? It's just colored. It was painted in 2009, uh, colored in in 2014. Now this one, Arjak Rockfest, the Anvil of Fenris. I like this one. It's a little uh, hazy, but I like the coloring. This is Logan Gr is Logan Grimnar. Uh, this is basically the cover of the. Uh, this is going to be the cover of the. Uh, Champions of Fenris code, uh, supplement. Now, this one's interesting. This is Bjorn the Fell Handed. This is, I love what they've done with his, I love what they did with the look. Him stepping on top of a Chaos Space Marine. I love it. Oops. Harold Deathwolf again being hit with with flame wep with a flamer type demon, and his and Ice Tooth has a, a dead ca a dead uh, black legionnaire in his mouth. That's uh, this is a boss looking this is a boss looking photo looking uh, artist print. This is a Kraken attacking the Isles of Fenris. I like its color. I like the design. It's very interesting. It's like there's, it's a storm, and these guys are trying to fight it. Now this is 
Logan Grimnar among his warriors pulling a sled. This is awesome. This is the space. This is the. Uh, this is the blood of Asaheim. This is the blood of Asaheim uh, cover. I like this color. I like this cover. People thought this was going to be the cover for the new Space Wolf Codex, but it's like, why is like why is uh, the Wolf Guard? Then why is the Space Wolf in the color and armor of uh, of the Death Watch? That would not people would not like that because it's like, how are you representing us? And we're back. So. That's the unboxing. People have just got and and believe me, the rules for the new codex are actually pretty solid to the point in where things are going to be killed. Game Workshop made a balanced, not uber over powerful not uber over powerful army. It's actually pretty good. It's fair, it's balanced, it doesn't have, it's not going to be so that psychic powers were, were cut down, were nerfed a little bit so to make them more fair and balanced. And it, it's, it's not bad. It didn't, t they're not a bad army anymore. They're not an overpowered army where it's like uh, the players don't want to take them. They've made it so that they can work on multiple strategies. Because there's this one formation called the uh, this called the the Wolves Unleashed formation. I'm giving you a little earlier stuff before, and it allows you to take six HQs with a allows you to take six HQs with a minimum of two. And I find that is excellent. And each unit that's joined by an HQ has to take uh, has to take a, a tip uh, on a roll of a six. That unit is allowed to out has the outflank rule. And troops get and independent characters joining a troop unit that get plus two, meaning that on the roll of a four, you know, on the roll of a four, it. Uh, that unit gets up flank, uh, which is not bad. Now I'm gonna now I'm about to say, now I'm gonna so stay posted, and you, I'll get to the codex. Like I'll get to the codex later.